Hello, this is Jeff Walker with In Depth Studies. Today we are in the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse 31. To the Jews who had believed him, Jesus said, If you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Well, he's talking to those who are outwardly professing to believe in him. But the question is, do they really believe in him? And of course, he says, if you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. So the proof of the pudding is that if you really are a believer in Jesus Christ, you really are trusting in him to, you know, as your Lord and Savior, that's how we would say it, then your desire is to obey his word because you intuitively recognize Scripture as the word of the God whom you love. And the way you show that you love him is you desire to keep his commands because you are an incurable God lover. And then it says, then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. In what way are believers set free? Well, obviously becoming a real believer in Jesus Christ means that you are no longer a slave to sin because this is referring to that radical work of the Holy Spirit which transforms a believer from the inside out, changes their desires, and causes you to want to live for your Lord and plants a love for him in your heart that cannot go away. And so when we describe an unbeliever, we're describing someone who is a slave to sin, someone who's controlled by sin, whereas describing a believer is someone who is an incurable God lover, but who struggles with sin, but always from the perspective of being a God lover. And of course, Scripture will tell us elsewhere that the Holy Spirit will guarantee that believers will make progress in their walk with the Lord. They will become progressively more Christ-like. So if this has been helpful, check out more of Jeff's thoughts on YouTube. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.